Well, hello. Welcome once again to Stuff and Things, where I like to talk about stuff and occasionally even things. I'm your good friend Bradley, and today it is time for another Pipe Tobacco First Impressions video. And this is one that I'm quite interested in. It's one that has been requested, or at least the company has been requested many times. People have asked me to look at some of this company's blends, and it is Dan Tobacco Old Ironsides. Named after the USS Constitution, I think it's still technically in service in the US Navy. And this is interesting because Dan Tobacco is a German company, as far as I know, and this is a very patriotic American sort of name, sort of label for this blend, so that's interesting. I'm gonna have to look into that later. A first impressions video is one in which I try a blend for the very first time. I try not to do too much research on the blend before I try it, so I go in fresh without any preconceived notions about the blend. And this time, we're going to be trying ugh, Dan Tobacco, if I can open it, Old Ironsides. Just like the USS Constitution, its hull is very difficult to penetrate. But I got inside. Okay, ugh. here we go. I know that this is an English slash Balkan blend. I've got some ash on me already. And inside, ooh, ooh, I'm getting an aroma. We have a label insert like so. It says, a selection of the world's finest tobaccos, hand blended for your smoking pleasure. And we have some very nice flakes. There you are. Let me take a whiff of this. Ooh, it's very, very oriental-y. I think this is a Balkan blend, an oriental forward English blend. Ooh, it's very spicy, delicious. It smells like food, and I don't know why exactly. I can't tell you, I can't put my finger on exactly what it is about the aroma, but it makes me want to eat this, which I won't do, and which you shouldn't do either. Let's see how the flakes are here. After this first impressions video, I will sample this blend for a good week or two and then post my full, fully researched review. These steaks are stuck together. Steaks, flakes are stuck together. I can't pull a whole flake off here because they're all stuck together, but the moisture content seems pretty good. I don't think I'm actually gonna have to dry this out. So let me gather, I don't know, about that much. That should be enough for more than a bowl. And I'm gonna rub this out and I'm gonna put it in my pipe and we're gonna see how she tastes. All right, gang, I have loaded my Shape 55 Costello pot with the Dan Tobacco Old Ironsides. It was actually a little bit too dry, I would say, just a slight twinge on the dry side and it didn't rub out super easily. I mean, it rubbed out easily, but it was kind of chunky. So there's still fairly sizable chunks in here. Um, but let's light it up and see what we think. Hmm. Very interesting. Very, very distinctive and forward flavor of those Orientals. They taste like Turkish to me. I'm assuming they're Turkish. I don't think it says on here. There is no tin description. But it really tastes like Turkish Orientals, really at the forefront of this blend. It's very dry, um, both in the actual flake, it was dry in texture, but then dry in flavor, like a dry wine. Really spicy, a lot of incense going on here. I'm not tasting a ton of Latakia yet, and I haven't successfully gotten this to stay lit, so we're gonna have to relight it. But initially, pretty impressed with this. I'm liking the flavor profile quite a bit. I like a Oriental Forward blend and Oriental Forward blend, a Balkan English blend, and this definitely has that profile. So let me get it going again, and we'll see what else comes to mind. This is delicious. <laughs> I really like this. Dan Tobacco, Old Ironsides. Now, obviously, these are just my first impressions. I'm gonna need to have this for a good week or so in order to get a full review down, but 
This is what these videos are for, first impressions, and the first impressions so far are quite good. There's something kind of Gawithy about this blend, and I don't know what exactly. It's not reminding me of any particular Gawith blend, and it certainly wasn't similar to a Gawith blend in the way the flake was presented and the moisture content. Gawith blends are usually a little bit more moist, thicker flakes. These are a thin flake, so it's nothing like that, but there's just something, there's a Gawith-like character to this blend. And I'm not sure what it is exactly. Hopefully I'll be able to put my finger on it by the time I do the full review. But it's so spicy, but not um, a hard, sharp spicy. There's a piquancy, a little bit of sourness from the Orientals. There is Latakia in here, but it's pretty much in the background. The Orientals are the main star of the show here. Um, I don't know if I'm tasting any Burleys or Virginias. I mean, I'm sure there's Virginias in here. I don't know about Ver Burleys. Like I said, I don't do any research before I, t I test the blend, but everything's working together really well. It's this potpourri kind of aroma and flavor. Really, really good. Hmm. Sometimes in these first impressions videos, it takes me a while to get my mind around a blend, to decide whether it's a favorable first impression or not. This is not the case with Dan Tobacco Old Ironsides. I already know I really like this, and I'm assuming that as I smoke it for a week or two, it's just going to be a matter of me kind of teasing out different flavors. I don't think my initial impression is going to change. This is good. It tastes really good. It's a really good Oriental Forward Balkan English blend. It's really good. Um, I think maybe I'm being too enthusiastic about this. Maybe that'll be tempered a little bit as I smoke it, but initial impressions, very positive. For Dan Tobacco, Old Ironsides. I can't wait to try this out for the next couple of weeks. And probably in two weeks' time, I will report back to you with my full and final review. But until then, until next time, until we meet again, I've been your good friend Bradley. You've been the audience. This has been Stuff and Things. I'll see you later. Damn. Mmm. Yes. Oh, hello. Do you like videos about pipes and or pipe tobacco and other fun subjects like that? Well, YouTube doesn't. In fact, they dislike those kinds of videos so much that they don't let us monetize them because they consider them unsuitable for most advertisers. But if you do, please consider supporting us on patreon.com slash stuffandthingsshow. Link in the description box below. It would be much appreciated, and it would go towards helping us create more content like this.